Spec Starmer, or Jamal Slant, it's me, Spec Goes 1000 here, coming to another video in this video. I am doing some characters for mine and um, Dark Dress 65's little um, series we're working on. Um, this video I'm going to be talking about it and some plot points I think could work in and the overall major premise of this story, but also um, some design notes for my character and a few other things. <clears throat> Originally, I was going to do four drawings for this video. I did those four, but then I realized um, I could do a few, two other things. So I did those, and those two are going to be the last. And also, at the end of this video, before my outro, I am going to be showcasing y'all um, Joker Joe 65's Joe character from the titles The Chronicles of Joe and Spike. So, now without further ado, let's get into this video and roll intro. Let's go. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. These first six or so drawings are actually mine. Well, technically the first four are the actual drawings, and then the um the um two after those four are um just some extra pictures I design I came up with and designed just to give you an idea of how this is. So without further ado, let's get into mine. Okay, for my character, I went for sorcerer, not um beast hunter. For that card, a beast hunter is someone that is actually hunting monsters, but there are a few monsters that actually help the young people in this world. Um, the leader of them all is known as Abel. Um, and Joker just 65 drawing in character is actually um, the son of him. His name is Joe Abel. Or Joshua Abel. I, Joseph Abel? I forget which one. I, but he's just called Joe Abel for short. Now, he has the ability to use um, life magic, which is basically healing and reviving, I believe. And, um, if I remember correctly, also fire magic. He's one of the best at it, if not the best, next to Demos. Yes, Demos are in this world. I am okay with him first. And then he can also use soul magic, which allows him to have access to the soul torture form. It just boosts your power and all that. But also, um, now my character, I did something pretty interesting. I was basing it off of his character, and I named mine Ryler Kyler, Ryan Kyler. Um, he is a sorcerer, and his magic is shadow, fire, and soul, but just a soul lurcher form. I don't really know much about the, um, magic of the, um, soul, soul magic, so... I'm just going to see if I can get some information out of him later on, and also talk about that next time. But, um, some other things I wanted to bring up bef um, while here. Um, the design I went for was a um, design I tried, haven't really done before, but um, also a very simple one. For the record, I was going for more of a, um, you know how you can put your arms down and put them out in front of you? And like, pretend you're like shocking someone like that, or power arcing of your hand? I was going to try to go for a design like that, but I realized I'm not very good with that kind of um, style. I'm not really good with that kind of pose. So I went for something a little bit more different, but something similar. Instead, I just put the arms out to the side and allowed the um, power. He can switch over shadow and um, fire at will, but he mostly keeps the um, shadows to one side and the um, darkness to the, and the fire to the other. And there are different types of fire. Um, when I say different types, I mean there's quite a few. Okay, here's the types of magic, the um, fire. Um, fire is based off of their personality. Blue, kind of kind yet competitive. Red and orange is... Um, or an arsehole and stuff like that. Green is wise, black is powerful, white is intelligent, and I forget what the knight is. He never really said. And there's also different types of magic. Um, some are very powerful. There are fire, water, shadow, life, earth, metal, beast, ice, and soul. Um, 
And um, for blue, um, like I stated, blue is kind yet competitive, if I remember correctly. Um, trying to find it somewhere. I had the information here somewhere. Um, give me one second. Yep, it is blue yet kind yet competitive. Um, other than that, um, Beast Magic is pretty much what you think. Um, Shadow Magic, I believe, allows you to control shadows. Um, Fire Magic is pretty interesting. It, you can pretty much do anything you want using Fire. Water Magic, same thing. Shadows, I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot more expansive than any of the others. Because there are shadows pretty much everywhere. I'm, for me, I can solidify these weapons. My characters can solidify these. Shadows into weaponry. Um, life, healing, I believe, I believe I can be healing too. Well, I, healing and revival, I believe. Um, earth, pretty much the same thing. Metal is just on some type of armor. Then there's beast, which I believe is the ability to turn into a beast and out of a beast form. But a few other things are in there too. Ice, um, basically just frozen water <laughs> and soul I don't really know what you can do using soul other than the soul is your form there's also a few other things I want to talk to you about before we get into the soul lurcher form stuff because that stuff is actually pretty interesting now every single <clears throat> um, wizard has a um, has an elemental pet um, I based my elemental pet off of um, what was it Joker Joe 65's Joe character. His is a Villa Wisp. It's a um, fire thing. I mine is a flaming shadow Villa Wisp. Well, flaming shadow Wisp. Um, they're pretty much the same thing except for mine. It's a lot more um, a little more mean looking, but in reality, I think they're actually quite kind. I like to think my guy made this one to make people a little scared of him. Or just because he was a little mad when he was making it. Because he couldn't get it right. I don't really know much about this because I haven't really talked to him much about these things. Even though it's mostly what we're talking about. Um, some other things. Um, besides really that, um... Elemental pets are exactly what you would think of. They are pets that are made of the elements the guy can use. Um, for mine, like I already stated, I went for a flaming shadow wisp. I basically copied the idea for like a little ball in the middle, but I surrounded mine in blue and black flames, I mean. And then I gave it like little limbs, like shadow parts, shadow tendrils. I think these claws are very good for like um, grabbing things or flashing at opponents. And the um, three finger claws are very good on um, like grabbing things higher up on shelves or um, more for offensive. But also, um, the um, it can control fire and make it little fireballs, which is actually really powerful. But another thing um, um, about um, Joe's character. It can, he can level a continent or a few cities with a fireball. It's a pretty powerful one, but I told him that for a demon, they can easily level a, um, a continent. But, um, my guy, which is actually canon for my, um, for my universe as well. If he weren't to, if he were to lose control at around his base form, his domestic human form, um, he can level... A good chunk of, um, I guess they go back to a few solar systems. Full power in his domestic and full demost form. 100% power, loses control of fireball. Who we? They go back to a few universes. Not universes, um, galaxies. Yeah, he's powerful. Kind of made mine broken, but hey, they're all broken. Okay, that's all for this one. I'll tell you more about the story in the next one. 
Now the story is that, um, from what I remember is that my guy is the Demos King, Lord King I mean, and he, um, uh, don't really know how, but somehow or another he lost his throne to a subordinate that was actually a princess for the king position. It's a rank below him, um, I believe, but don't really know after that. Now they are just on an adventure trying to get, just trying to stop the war between the monsters and the monster hunters. Monster hunters are exactly what they sound like. They do hunt monsters, although they can only use four types of magic. Ice, water, fire, and, um, if I remember correctly, earth magic. Don't really know why, but I personally think that, um, I don't know why he hasn't told me yet. Um, or he doesn't know himself about that part yet. But I think that they would use some type of soul magic that can lock away every single other type of magic you can use and only give you the ability to use those types of magic. And usually a um, beast hunter, a monster hunter, can only use around two types of magic. It's pretty rare for that, but three or four is pretty much unheard of. So, yeah, there's that. And, but there's also subordinates of um, Abel that are actually um, helping them and eradicating some other monsters. But um, there are factions in that rank, in those ranks. And sorcerers are more powerful than monster hunters, and demon monsters are more powerful than them. <sighs> and if y'all remember correctly from my last video, that um, one drawing that went. That was of, um, Joe's, Josh, Jason Cass, I mean, um, that was, the second drawing of him was actually his soul lurcher form, so, yeah, and speaking of soul lurchers, we're gonna get into that one right after the next one. Now, also, um, Joe is helping my guy reclaim his throne. But also, um, helping him regain a few other things. But also, I just realized I messed something up. But, um, anyways, like I was saying, um, Joshua, not Joshua, Joe is helping my guy regain his, um, his, um, what was it? His throne. And, um, that's pretty much it. So, since the name, Joe, the Chronicles of Joe and Spike. But, every single sorcerer has a elemental pet and a will, and a, um, L, and an automatron. And my guy's automatron, I sort of based it off of, um, Trucker Joe 65's one. And the fact that I gave it a, um, the same good design, but I changed up a few things. Like I instead of a shield and a sword, I gave my guy a um gauntlet with um shadows connecting each piece and a few other parts. Just in general I made mine more darker and dark in color. So it's a pretty interesting idea. Also I changed the um, mask shape and he the shadows are holding him together and he also has a flaming sword on one side. I would think that he, this automatron listens to my guy, or, and has a little mind of its own, so, to protect his, um, the, its owner, the, the sorcerer, and, who I named Ryan Kyler, like I mentioned earlier, um, I would think that he would protect him at all costs, but has a few things on his own, they does, like, um, possibly take, helping him take care of his flaming shadow wisp, and also helping... Um, Ryan with any injuries you get. I would think soul magic also allows you to um, heal yourself relatively quickly. But um, now let's get into the soul lurcher form. That's some interesting stuff. Now I've already um, said a few, times, a few times already. But um, I don't really know a whole lot about the soul lurcher form. Other than the fact that um, it lets you... I believe grow in size and muscle mass and also in it greatly explodes your ability to use your magic abilities. 
and they're a whole lot more powerful. Also, you can, um, the magic, <clears throat> um, I don't really know how tall you grow, but I just know you grow in giant muscle mass, too. Now, um, Ryan, my character, um, usually stands around six feet tall, and, and, um, when he turned, when he activates his solo true form, he grows up to be around eight feet tall and around two feet wide and pure mu near pure muscle. <sighs> he also gets um, two black triangles on his face, and um, and um, um, some black things on his arms. That's actually his power leaking out of him because of how powerful it is. And it's also his hair grows in size as well, not as big as um. Joe's though, trust me, that guy is a. Looks like his hair just went. Um, pulled a, an Afro Samurai one. Um, I just went for a similar. Also for his shirt sign, um, the symbol. On, I just went for a um similar design to Joker Joe 65's character. <clears throat> it was a um, it was a U like shape with a um, with a body of a plus sign, and a little um rectangle in the. On top of it, I want something similar. I just took out the um, the dash across it. So that's mean something that looks like a um, a Y with a triangle on top. It kind of reminds me of um, that magnet alien, Lone Star from Ben 10. <laughs> that was a pretty cool alien, to be honest. Now let's get to the last two drawings. Now these. Next two are just going to be very short. Um, well, this one and the next one, anyways. Um, the first one is just a picture of all three drawings I have of the main ones. There's the Automatron, um, Ryan Kyler, and his base form, and Elemental Pet above him. It's a pretty nice drawing, if I say so myself. And I also put all the information you need to know about him, like Ryan Kyler, Title Sorcerer, Magic, and all the magic he can use, which is, um, Salt Fire, Fire, which is Shadow Fire, sorry, and Soul. Now let's get to the next one. Now, this next one, I just went, just put the two pictures in. Put base form above the first one and um, soul ultra form above the second one. I couldn't get the soul ultra form a good, good size to show how bigger, how much bigger he gets. But um, I did show y'all um, the good contrast between the fire and um, the the two fire parts. You can see that um, one is just a fireball while the other one just engulfs a good chunk of his arm. And can launch a little fire stream toward you. And it gives you a good idea how how much more powerful he is, but not a good skill. How tall, much taller he is. Now, that's it. Now, the next two clips are um, Joker C5's drawings. And I put them to um, some music called, um, give me one second. The music I put them to is a song called Get Away. Not really a song, but there's some. Music I found, it's the same thing as last time. Now, without further ado, let's get into his drawings. Let's go.
you enjoyed today's video because all the time I got for today. Until next time, subscribe to your Inspector Army or the Muscle Alliance. Goodbye and peace out everyone.